Well, hello there on this windy day. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tommy, and I'm here to take you through Town & Country RV Park here in Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah, that's where we are, New Mexico. So it's a little windy today. Hopefully I can block out some of this wind for you. Um, the, uh, uh, we'll be here for about a week. Looking forward to the stay. Uh, i do another video on Roswell itself. Show you some of the things that we experienced. And uh, well, I definitely want to show you this park. See how nice it is or how unnice it is, depending on your view. So come on with us because you've just entered the Cool's Life RV Park Review Edition. This park is a little busy as you can see. This is the, uh, I believe this is the older side here. few trees in here there's not quite as many on the other side especially older trees because the uh the area is kind of well let's go in here to the laundry room you can see the there's a keypad the laundry room because of, there is no pad there is no code for the main gate so they've got one here for the uh, laundry room popped open right now and all the restrooms this set and the other set of restrooms at the other end of the park and these are the trash receptacles so you're not going to find dumpsters around here but this is them I think they dump those every day though this is one of the dog parks they've got a couple here on property this of course is as big as it looks it's not very big at all but it's right next door to one of the sites. They do have free cable here, so that's a plus. And it's a direct TV, so you get about 45 stations to include ESPN. Yay, and TNT, so I'll be watching some basketball today. This is the main office here, and they've actually got a uh, area here, which is post office boxes. So if you're here for an extended period, you can get your post office box. And that's the uh, office there. And this pool here is right next door. I think it might be, it might be shared by the, uh, this is long term. Um, I don't know if it's the same park or not. There's, like there's the office. So I'm guessing it is it's the same office. So this is a long term people that stay here full time. I want to go in here and check out the uh, workout room, but the pool has been closed for the season. Looks like it. Before it gets open. Well, I got the clubhouse rules here posted. It could tend to be a little cleaner, maybe. We're going to go in here. This is actually just a sliding door. I said you had to have a code to get in here, but I guess if you come in the sliding doors, you don't need one. It is air conditioned in here, so I'm going to close this door. Television, table tennis, some workout stuff, free weights, and another television. I'm going to get me a workout in. That I'll get much pool in. That needs a little bit of work. <laughs> and you have the balls here, and there's a couple of sticks in the corner. It's not real bad, but it's definitely in rough shape. And they got games and such over here. Neat looking little room though. So when you pull in the main part of the park, which is actually that way, if you come like I did, you come straight in, you're on the other side of these, this RV, and you'll park right here along this wall, and then you come in here to the office, which is there. Now, my particular park is actually this way, which is the newer section, not that way. So I actually pulled out of there, took a right, and came up this way. I'm in space 112, and this shows 101 to 151. It's nice and level uh, concrete. It's definitely the newer section. I got the. Uh, it's pretty full today. See how smooth it is about this bike ride. And then there's the uh, men's restroom and women's restroom. There's where I am. I want to show you this setup so here's what you get
Now you see these are together, so basically you would go back to back. The person in this one would actually be pulling this way, whereas the person on the other side would pull the other direction. You got water, you got water inside of here, you got sewer, and you got cable box, which is right there, and your standard 30 and uh, 50 amp on road position. As you can see, um, there's the guy next to me, and there's me there, so we're back to back. So this fin, this fence here, as you see, goes all the way around it, all the way up to the front. So I'm here at the very back, and you can see there's absolutely no access. It's at least a six foot fence, if not six and a half. And nice concrete here. So if you're looking for a parking, you're actually on your way through Roswell. You want to spend the night, maybe spend a week like we are. I definitely recommend this park. Easy access. Uh, we're 10 minutes from downtown, 20 minutes from the Walmart. So, uh, and service is great. I've got, I got T-Mobile here. So. so my quick pros and cons of this park is uh, one is uh, the pros. I would say spots are relatively level. It's easy to get around. Concrete pads. Uh, the power works great. Water works great. Uh, cable works great. Love that. Not not nearly enough parks have cable, and I'm, I'm glad this one did. Um, the other things I didn't like about it, didn't like the fact that the there was no water in the pool. It wasn't even even though even though this is really the season, it'd be nice if it was cold, but I could still get in and get out or sit by the pool during on a nice day. But no, it's not not a, not habitable at this time. Maybe in a month or so, it'll be ready to go. And also, the activity center uh, was much to be desired, but. Uh, uh, the, the pool table was horrible and anyway uh, that needs needs some work other than that I like the park would never problem staying here again and uh, uh, it, I like the fact that it's only you're two miles out of downtown uh, Roswell so that's always good uh, like I was saying I got T-Mobile here they said the other services are great here also uh, so Wi-Fi check they actually have uh, Wi-Fi in the building or on property also they say it's not so good for movies as most park Wi-Fi is not. But uh, if you uh, uh, if you wanted to, or, or gaming, or maybe not work, but probably should be bringing your own. But uh, if not, this might be a, uh, if you just want to watch TV or something like that, you might be okay. <laughs> yeah, no case. Cut out. <laughs> that was awesome. It was chasing me. <laughs> and you have friendly, friendly dogs here too. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and uh, you want to check out this park? Um, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll be back if I'm ever in here. I got no problem with this park. But I'll let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe. Because I need to get back here living. The coolest life. RV Park Review Edition.